This lawn has recently been treated for moss and in this video we're going to be looking at three methods that you can use to apply moss treatments to your lawn at home to get great results. Moss in lawn is really going to thrive where there's damp conditions, poor drainage and also uh, unhealthy grass to start with which can allow the moss to uh, compete and take over the lawn. You want to get rid of moss out of your lawn because it's going to create an uneven texture, it's going to spoil the overall visual appearance of the lawn and prevent the growth of the good quality seed that you want for a nice visual appearance. So let's take a look at the types of equipment that you can use to control moss in your lawn. This is an example of a back sack or knapsack type of sprayer. It's generally targeted at um, professional use or people with larger lawns because it's got such a high storage capacity. This particular unit can fit around 20 litres of water in the backpack, which is plenty to mix uh, products for a large area. It's also fitted on the lance with a double boom setup, which is a meter apart. This is gonna allow the operator to spray a meter width areas from each pass of the lawn and cover a large surface area really quickly. In terms of a more domestic setup, you can get a much smaller type of canister sprayer, maybe around uh, five liters or so, and that should cover most types of areas. I've actually picked up this uh, 16 litre sprayer, which is more than enough that I need to cover a uh, full application on the front and the back lawn. And I can use this in a domestic setting, way below its uh, top capacity. And it's just a little bit easier rather than doing multiple stops with a smaller sprayer. Plus you can get the volume down and control the application rates a little bit better than you would with one of the smaller sprayers. Now obviously this is going to really depend on the type of lawn that you've got. If you want to try stuff like this at home, you should always be careful about what type of um, chemicals that you're putting down on the lawn. And if you're not comfortable, do consult a professional for some advice or their own professional services. So both methods one and two involve the application of iron. Now in method one, we're gonna be looking at a method that is really reserved for the professional use, which is using high strength concentrate liquid iron, such as this product, which is around a 19 to 20% mix of iron. If you're looking for some professional support, I've left some contact details below for the UK Lawn Association who can find a specialist in your local area. Alternatively, method two is more for a domestic lawn, which would be applying a product such as this granular iron sulfate. You can also get this in the premix liquid form, similar to the professional product I've just shown, but the concentrations won't be at the same level. You can still achieve good results using this type of equipment at home. And again, I'm going to be mixing this particular powder in with the sprayer and using it at the higher dosage to kill moss in my lawn. The next type of method involves a product called lawn sand. Now lawn sand can contain a small amount of nitrogen and sand and iron. The sand in this bag almost acts as a carrier to spread the iron across the lawn, which kills the moss and also can feed the lawn too. A bag like this can cover anywhere between two to 600 square meters. And that really depends on the level of dose and the severity of the moss that you're trying to treat will affect the ratio that you want to apply it down. Typically, this is also going to be applied using a spreader, which we'll take a look at next. When applying the lawn sand, you want to be using a rotary type of spreader, which is similar looking to this. This particular model is again gained at more of a professional market. It's a Scott spreader and you fill the uh, material in the top of the spreader. It drops down onto the spinning disc and you can control the application rate. 
In the next part of the video, I'm gonna be showing you all three of these methods in action and some of the results that you can expect. So stick around to the end of the video to see how the moss looks after the treatments are applied. So here's some of the moss before the treatments. You can see, zooming right in, it's almost like a light green color. It pulls out pretty easy. And then here's what it looks like around 10 to 15 minutes after application of the iron. You can start to see the moss is starting to go black and brown in color. and it's already reducing in its figure. If I just pull a little sample out here, you can see it's starting to lose its color and eventually this will go black and die off. If we move into some of the moss in the corner of the garden, you can see again, it's also starting to lose its color. We're putting this down towards the end of the year the grass is a little bit longer than I'd like it at this time of year, but if the moss doesn't subside, you can reapply this again in the early spring before the grass growing season, and you should be left with some really nice turf. So these are the three methods you can use to control moss in your lawn. It's a liquid product, a soluble product, or lawn sand. You can also get some fertilizers with built-in iron into the fertilizer, which will help blacken off the lawn. But generally, for targeted moss applications, I personally prefer to use the specialist moss products so you can get the best results. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content to help you level up your lawn.